welcome back. Happy lunch hour. If you're over here on the Pacific coast, I'm trying to make sure my phone's going to stay up. Um, it's Mermaid Monday. We're having so much fun. Our first guest this morning, we had the lovely Carson McGinley. She's an amazing yoga teacher and she runs the Happiness and Bliss online Kula and Yoga community. We had so much fun chatting with her and now we're back. We're having a little lunch special with the CBD yoga teacher, Cherie Smith. So we're just going to give her a couple minutes to hop on and join us live here. Thank you so much for tuning in. In. Every Monday, we do the Mermaid Movement featured Mondays, and this is going to be a place where you can come and connect with mermaids and other women that are running um, spiritual businesses or communities that are here to serve you guys. And I'm just so grateful to be here and share um, some of the amazing women that I've come across in my journey. I see Cherie hopping on now. Here we go. Go. Invite, invite the CBD yoga teacher on. <laughs> Hi, Mama. Hey, I I just saw I hit live and I saw your interview with Carson and I was like, wait, it's new and I started getting really confused. <laughs> oh, you're like, wait, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I so I went back and I checked. I was like, wait, it says noon. That was a replay from earlier today. Yeah, I had Carson on this morning. <laughs> Hello. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. I'm so glad you're here. How are you? It's so good to see your face. Oh, good. I know. It's good to see your face. Um, these interviews have been awesome. And even just seeing like Heather and Tana and some of the other sisters and the women we got... you know, isn't that fun? Oh, hi, honey. Little ladies joining us. So she can't sweet. seem to be more than about six inches away from me at any time since this all started. <laughs> She's like, no social distancing for me, mom. Yes. Yeah. So. I love it. I know mine have been super clingy as well. And it was kind of funny in our last interview this morning, Carson was like talking about teaching her kids sovereignty. Oh, there goes my phone. <laughs> teaching her kids sovereignty, um, like in homeschool and stuff. And just like about, um, like, you know, like having alone time and stuff. And I was just like laughing, thinking like, I can't even imagine having to do that with children because my dogs don't give it to me. So <laughs> I yeah. can't imagine. Yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay. Well, I'm so excited to have you. If you guys don't know Cherie, she is so amazing. She's known as the CBD yoga teacher here in town and honestly across the internet. It's really taking off and becoming a thing. So we're so excited to have you and just have you tell us a little bit more about your story and your background and how you got here. Yes. And I already mentioned to you that, um, you know, the last couple of years through this journey, I've always given like a sugar coated version of my story. And because kind of where I am in my own growth, but then also um, how connected I feel with you just through, you know, to the different retreats and workshops mm. and then even personal healing appointments. <laughs> Um, I just feel like I, I'm ready to really share the full story and then also um, really just not like a sugarcoat and hide the, the real stuff. So, mm. And how um, powerful is that, right? Like when we <laughs> are ready to share, like when we've gone through this experience and we're like, okay, I'm ready to really like open the floodgates and like share a little bit more of myself and like the opportunity that it creates for the expansion of healing of everyone that's watching this video, yes. everyone that watches the replay and everyone that follows along with you. So thank you for, you know, really taking this time to open up. And like, I, I feel like it's really powerful how much time um, the women individually are putting into these these interviews and like creating space for real connection, even through zoom or online or however yes. we're doing it. I'm so grateful for um, just the openness. That's absolutely. My intention because I'm learning the sugar coated version made me feel safe, you know, speaking up at first, but now, I mean, I've learned, especially through your different um, events that the more that you can really be honest and share the truth, the more you're going to connect with someone else and help spark or even like activate that change in them too. Um, so yeah, I'm ready to share. 
Awesome. Yay, I'm so excited. Uh, <laughs> so why don't you give us a little bit about the CBD yoga teacher, who she is, what you embody. Tell us a little bit about what you've got going on right now. Sure. So um, I basically created um, the synergy. I discovered a synergistic combination of CBD and yoga out of my own needs. So um, when I entered yoga teacher training, it was almost 20 years after I had been experienced or exposed to yoga. And I was at a really painful point of my life. Um, I basically was losing my health with multiple, I got diagnosed with mon multiple autoimmune diseases. Um, when I was going through that, I, I lost my corporate job that I literally worked my whole life for. It was my identity. Um, and so I was losing a lot in my life and I felt like I was losing mine and mine at the same time. Mm. And at the time I was having panic attacks that were so severe that I was, um, like to try and go to the grocery store, I'd have a panic attack. Or it got to the point where when I would go to get to my car, I was going into a fight or flight mm. and having adrenaline and literally going into panic attacks just trying to leave the house. And um, it was just, you know, obviously I'm not functioning well at that point. And then all the just mental pain, physical pain. Um, I had literally worked myself sick and got to a point where um, – I had reverted back to really, really self-destructive things from my teenage years, like cutting, mm. um, you know, thoughts of self-harm. And so that's the sugar coating. I normally don't. Mm -hmm. I just say, oh, you know, it got really dark. And, um, I mean, but it's I like agree. naming it is important. You know, it's yeah. like, what is darkness to each of us? And like, maybe some people are like, like feeling the call to relate to you in that darkness and like, what does darkness look like to you? So thank you for that sharing. My mm. So my shadow was the deep, deep feelings of unworth, the trauma from my childhood, the basically taking on the masculine energy as a way to protect myself and just work and earn and achieve and make sure no one ever took advantage of me or hurt me again that way. Um, so that was a lot of, Basically, all of that was building up and coming to a head at like my early 40s and my whole life. It was like my midlife crisis, um, spiritual awakening, um, f basically physically my body was failing. I had collapsed on the floor. So it was everything coming together at once. My whole life just, just leveled and it was complete destruct destruction. I was losing everything in my life. And I had remembered... The one thing that I had loved made me feel so good and just like felt like it nourished my soul was yoga. Mm. And so I literally, I looked up the closest yoga studio to my home because I couldn't, I was having trouble driving. Right. And there was a hot yoga studio. It's like 0.7 miles away. <laughs> and so I drove like, myself. I can in do this. <laughs> I literally dragged my ass in there and I couldn't look at anyone. I couldn't talk to anyone. I was just mm -hmm. so broken in that moment. I was like, just get to your mat. And I couldn't even do a whole yoga class. So not even a whole hour of yoga, but I would go into child's pose and just be grateful to be there on my mat. And then um, I just kept going back. So I just kept going back to my mat. And little by little, I could start to do a whole hour yoga class. And then they had yoga teacher training. And I just knew, I was like, this is what I'm doing. Um, so at that time I signed up for yoga teacher training. It was spiritually, physically, mentally, just the healing that I needed. And then it helped me realize that all of that was just a trigger for my awakening, right? The universe had been kind of like whispering at me. Mm -hmm. I had lost kind of what was building up to this too. I lost two friends within a 24 hour period, like in mm -hmm. separate situations. To be honest, the Harvey Weinstein, all of that dark coming to the light was triggering like this sexual trauma from my childhood Absolutely. that I had buried and pushed so far down. And so it was all just erupting. And through my yoga journey, I was sitting in yoga teacher training with people just watching them do these beautiful postures. One of the girls had, uh, her mother had owned a dance uh, studio. So she had taught dance and was just, mm. you know, and then what happened to me is um, I had a herniated disc, sciatica pain, SI joint pain. I ended up not even being able to move through half mm. of my yoga teacher training. And so in that moment of like deep healing, deep pain, I'm like, of course, you're like, why is this happening to me? Why can't I physically move in my yoga teacher training? And then I started realizing this pain, this thing that I think is holding me back, this is my power 
-hmm. And if I can identify it and choose to make it my power, then I can. And so what I did is I decided I'm not the beautiful, bendy pretzel yoga teacher. I am a teacher that really works with your pain, your back pain, your physical pain, like real shit going on in your body. Mm. And if that's where I can reach people, then that's, that was my gift. You know what mm. I mean? I yes. knew I wasn't going to be the, mm. so I really focused on what I had learned and helping people like as a way shower in a way, like, how had I helped myself get out of the deepest, darkest pain mentally and physically? And how can I now guide others in that? And so I was doing these little self care toolkits <clears throat> and I wanted to bring in CBD bath bombs. And this was before it was even legal. And so I was researching CBD and bath bombs. And in that process, it became legalized in uh, December of 2018. Mm -hmm. And so the second it was legalized, I instantly, I was like, okay, this is it. This, this is, is the chance. Know. This is my chance. Yeah. And I literally started um, just getting downloads of information. There was a period of about three days where I didn't really sleep a whole lot. I was getting like downloads like at three in the morning. So mm -hmm. <laughs> all this information, I just started writing things down and I still have the papers of where I created the CBD yoga teacher. And if you look at the paper, there's writing, but then it's like writing around the edges and then writing. And you can see, it was just like, pouring it was all just coming through yes yes and so i i definitely felt it was like my my me coming into my calling my just really my like my essence my purpose mm. like why i was here even to begin with even that that breath you just took there it was like while you were talking you got all excited and that breath like put you back in it you were like mm, and there it is it was such a like very distinct entrance into that yeah and so from here on out it's really been just helping share the word that there are positive healthy tools right that's one thing i always say cbd yoga meditation it's something healthy that you can turn to the crystals the oils and so almost every time i talk about this stuff i say you have a choice to hit the easy button right the easy button is alcohol um over shopping too much sex too much food consumerism yeah so it, that's the easy button that numbs up right mm -hmm. and i was i was doing that myself i mean i literally was drinking like the big bottle of the wine mm -hmm. and i'd start at noon and i was numbing everything right yeah. and i learned it's like when you're numbing the pain you numb the joy and happiness too yeah and um so that was a lot of you know, just learning, growing, reaching for the healthy tools. And then now really it's, it's a transforming of energy. So we all have pain. We all have, you know, different experiences or moments or trauma in our life. Nobody, you know, goes through life right. without these moments. So now it's just recognizing that you have a choice to take that pain and spin and cycle through that pain, or you can listen to the lessons that it's trying to teach you and reach for the healthy tools, crystals, mm. oils, yoga, meditation, CBD, and learn to basically heal yourself with natural, healthy things instead of just numbing and chasing it all away. Yeah, I love all of that so much. And it reminds me of, a, um, I read this, I don't remember where I read it, but it was like this, this thought that kind of for people that are maybe right, the people that you're talking to today, the people that have been using numbing as their coping mechanism, no matter what they're using to create that numbing. Right. Um, mm -hmm. and then like, it was, a, it was just kind of an affirmation, like, Hey, congratulations on being able to tune in and find something to like cope yeah. and welcome to the next level of finding even better tools. Like it was like this, yeah. like, it was like a, it was using where we've been as a stepping st stone rather than a like dishonor of our shadow. Kind of like you're talking yes. about, like it's time to like talk about our shadow. Like, Hey, this is where I was. And it's not something that I want to hide because now I'm the healed CBD yoga teacher. It's, That's Hey, right. this is where I was. And that was my stepping stone that got me here. And it's not about like shaming old Sheree for who yes. she was. And like, I really like what you're like, what you're talking about and where you're going with this. It's like, Hey, 
let's talk about our pain. Let's bring it forward so that we can move through it. And that's such an important piece. And I think it's just something that gets skipped a lot with physical pain in the spiritual world. Yeah, that too. Mm -hmm. So thank you for bringing that up because it is, it's part of the awakening or part of the journey to also understand and not shame yourself or criticize yourself, but really congratulate yourself for building that very complex dynamic defense system to keep yourself safe, right? That's what you had to do at that time to keep yourself safe. But it's like, oh, dear child, you don't need that anymore. Mm, you know, yeah. you just don't need it anymore because now you're basically, you're in a conscious level of understanding there's better tools to reach for. Mm, uh, but absolutely. definitely not, yeah, shamey, but still honoring that version of yourself too. I love it. Oh, such a beautiful story. Thank you so much for like opening and expanding on your story and just giving us some new pieces and letting us like dive into who you are a little bit more. It's so beautiful. Um, yeah. The next thing that's coming through that I want to ask about is like your specific relationship with CBD. I know you know so much about CBD and like I've been a CBD user and a cannabis um, advocate for a long time. But some of the things that you specifically know and some of your products, I really love. So I would love to give you an opportunity to just tell us about like how you choose your products, why you choose certain products, what oh. you have, all of that good stuff. Okay. So thank you because all CBD is not created equal. And I will just say, if you go onto Amazon, um, just know Amazon does not sell CBD oil. They sell hemp oil. Mm -hmm. And probably the biggest thing I can do to help other people right now is just understand CBD and hemp oil are completely different things. And a lot of people are trying to pass off hemp oil as CBD. Hemp oil is extracted from the seed. And it's, it has omega-3 fatty acids. So it's great for your skin. It's great for your hair. But it doesn't help with anxiety, pain, uh, depression. So I just, I want to like, if I can just get that out there. Don't buy that's CBD big. on Amazon. No, that's big. <laughs> Hibbana. There's something called Hibbana that you'll see commercials on TV for. Again, it's not CBD. And they'll say, oh, it's for pain. It's major scan alert. So, so if you one, have that, just use it for your Bana. skin. Yeah. <laughs> it's good for your skin, for your, um, your hair, your nails. It's omega fatty three acid. Yeah. And um, I think but it's important to note what you're saying because I hear so many people that are like, oh, I bought CBD. It didn't work. And it's didn't like, work. Well, what was it? Exactly. So that's that's the biggest thing I'm up against besides the social stigma of people misunderstanding. But they, oh, I've tried CBD. It didn't work. Well, they probably picked it up at 7-Eleven, mm -hmm. right, or Amazon, and it's not real CBD, or they didn't get the right dosage, or it was mixed with a bunch of other chemicals and crap. Right. There was no uh, consultation. Yes. So um, I absolutely provide free consultations. I source two different lines of CBD. Um, everything I source is organic. Very important. You don't want all these pesticides in there. Um, it's also cruelty-free. And everything's cruelty-free and vegan except for one product, the PM capsules. I haven't been able to find gelatin-free capsules yet. But everything else, cruelty-free. And then the most important thing you want to look for, too, is CO2 extracted. So you don't want CBD that's extracted with ethanol or other, other chemicals. Um, CO2 extraction is really the only method of extraction that you should be putting in your body uh, of CBD. And then there's really two different lines I carry that I think would be helpful for people to know. There's full spectrum CBD. So just like it sounds, it's the full spectrum of cannabinoids. You're getting the CBD, CBG, CBN, all of that good stuff. And that includes the fatty acids and it gives it a synergistic effect that helps, and this helps um, people with deep body pain. So fibromyalgia, um, neuropathy, um, I have a lot of people that do really well with that deep, deep, like um, people have had really bad car accidents, spinal pain, deep spinal pain, the full spectrum is best. Okay. Now I carry the isolate also because full spectrum has just a little bit of THC. It's still lower than the legal levels, you know, so it's legal for CBD. You don't get a high, it doesn't affect your head. It's just that little bit that helps the deep body pain. But with a full spectrum, there's a small chance that that can build up in your body over time and put you at risk to fail a THC drug test. Okay. So I say for people who, um, you know, have federal jobs, um, doctors, nurses, they just cannot take the risk, then that's when CBD isolate is a good 
uh, choice. So CBD isolate, you take, they literally isolate the CBD right out of all of the other compounds. So then what you're getting in the CBD isolate is just CBD and then coconut oil. And then the MCT multi-chain triglyceride. Really the best CBD. High quality CBD oil. Um, and so really you need both full spectrum or isolate because people have different needs. Both work for anxiety, depression, pain. Um, I personally use, there's terpene droppers. So terpene are, think of them like essential oils of the hemp plant. Mm -hmm. And it's like the essence of the different strains. And it can direct the CBD within your body for a more laser focus of healing. So CBD in general is going to give you anti-inflammation, um, helps relieve pain, anxiety through your whole body. But then as soon as you start working with the terpenes, oh my golly, <laughs> um, the terpenes, you can literally take, like there's a pineapple express terpene, which just sounds as good as it tastes. Um, and that one is uplifting. So like the citrusy terpenes, they're uplifting, they're good for anxiety, depression, and pain during the day. So there's literally droppers that you can take. I have a pineapple express that's good for the day. And you get uplifted during the day. Um, and then I think I have one of those. I think I have that from you. Okay. Um, and then there's terpenes for like sleep or relaxation. Or if you have um, different neuropathies or different nerve type pain, there's linalol, which is relaxing, wow. sedating. Um, so my husband and I, we take that before bed. And it helps us fall asleep and stay asleep. But then we have little kids. So if we have to wake up in the middle of the night, we wake up with clear head and we're still functioning. You know, it's not the, um, what is it? The dependency that builds up with like sleeping pills or the sure. grogginess or- Or you even know, with like THC. Kids. Yeah. Like even if you smoke before bed, sometimes that leaves you a little groggy. Yeah. Which I, I mean, I do that too. But, right. Um, but if you choose to not, you know, THC free, the linalol, right. blueberry well, and if you've maybe never smoked, maybe like if you're afraid to have that, like, oh, I'll be too groggy in the middle of the night yeah. for my kids or whatever. Like maybe that's a nice, um, either stepping stone or just alternative. Exactly. So yeah. the terpenes get very specific. I literally work with people. Um, I mean, I have like neuropathy clients, um, epilepsy clients. I have worked with a couple of people with stomach cancer. There's a turkey very specific for stomach cancer too. Mm, that's very cool. Uh, and I've always been like a total information nerd, like total geek. So I love researching and then really just finding, like I can get through the medical, uh, like the medical papers, the research stuff mm -hmm. and get through the nitty gritty and then be able to find what terpenes work. Cause there's so much more scientific based research than people realize. They just think, oh, CBD, it's not tested. It is. There's so much science now behind it. Um, so I'm, I'm going to do a little dare, a little challenge today. So anyone watching, take your symptoms, whatever it's mental, physical, it could be anxiety, depression, it could be pain in your body, neuropathy, um, even like schizophrenia, addiction. I've helped people transition off of heroin and methadone mm -hmm. with CBD. Um, so just know, take whatever your symptom is, Google your symptom and CBD, and then find there's there's medical evidence that will come up. That you That's really work. cool. That's really, really cool. Thank you for sharing that. Um, I'm going to do that. Tina yeah. said, what about hemp or CBD, like the whole flower, which you have, right? Yeah. So there's um, two ways that question could go. So CBD is extracted from the stem and flower of the, seed, of the hemp plant. Okay. And then what I was talking about earlier, the hemp oil, which is not CBD, is extracted from the seed. So I don't know if she's talking about that. Yeah, the highest quality is extracted from the flower, even more than the stem. Um, if she's talking about CBD flower, like the bud, mm -hmm. um, I do have a family friend that owns, it's actually the, um, the only licensed and permitted CBD farm in North County, San Diego. So I do, oh, hemp flower. Yeah, I have um, access to plenty, 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 plenty of CBD flour. If you're looking for flour, even in large quantities, um, I can help with that too. And the flour is great 
because there's a lot of people like myself. I mean, I love the ritual of smoking. And mm. sometimes I want to go to a school event or a family event, but I don't want the high. So right. you can smoke the CBD flower. And it helps with the anxiety, like the social anxiety. Right, and it's like the whole ritual of like, before I go somewhere, this ritual yeah. calms my anxiety. But I totally yeah. know what you mean. But you don't always want to show up and be like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> totally. So that's a great, I think that's a great idea. Because that, for me in particular, like I love the ritual of smoking before showing up somewhere. But sometimes I'm like, I don't really, huh. <laughs> like, what do I do? Yeah. <laughs> So um, you can, and then we'll even grind up the CBD and the THC in Together. the mix, not like yeah. salad or whatever. Like, like um, you can kind of control the amount of That's psychoactivity or head high. Um, like my my husband will smoke a CBD before working out, you know, stuff like that because he gets the anti-inflammation for a workout, the muscle recovery benefit. Um, I love it. And then also. If you're ever looking to, there's a lot of people that want to cut back on THC or transition back or, you know, how you, you get the, um, the buildup. What's it called? Yeah, like you, you get a tolerance. The tolerance. So if you ever want to reset your tolerance level with THC, you can always bring in the CBD That's as so well. smart. I totally need to get some CBD flour from you. I know we text about it and I've just never like done it, but I need to get that yeah. from you. Well, and then just so you guys know, I have to brag a little bit. This, the CBD flour I get. Um, it's a through a family farm. They have a hundred thousand plants and they let us come in and cherry pick. Wow. Um, so they get to go in and cherry pick all the buds off the top. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. And then they just take the rest and they sell it as biomass to the East coast. So they don't really care if we come in and like, you know, cherry pick. So that's so the cool. flower I have is literally like, it's tasty. It's uh, sticky. It's I need just to get like that from tasty. you for sure. Dang. Um, and the cool part is the CBD is only, it's either, um, 10, $10 for an eight or we're doing, I know it feels funny to do in like prices, but, um, okay. we're doing a whole ounce for $40 an ounce. Wow. It's kind yeah. of I'm going to have, I'm yeah. going to like, put me down for that. I'm going to stop by. Okay. I need to come by like tomorrow or something. Do a okay. porch pickup. <laughs> yes. Porch pickup. So. I love it. Um, That's lots of comments coming in too. Let's see. So Tina said the whole smoke ritual is my favorite. Dominique said, you know how we do. I know we have some ritualistic smokers in here. Tia said, I don't know if I missed this, but is there a, like a CBD liquid that you could use in vapes? There, yes, there's CBD for vapes. I'm going to be really honest. I never really recommend vapes. Um, because you're heating up a whole metal and plastic device, and then you're also inhaling the fumes of the heated metal and plastic. So normally when you smoke a CBD, it is an anti-inflammatory, and believe it or not, it can actually help for asthma. I always re recommend glass devices, glass or crystal. Um, like I literally have clear quartz crystal pipes, la lapis lazuli crystal pipes, or I just, I always recommend glass or a crystal because, as soon as you heat up plastic or metals, like Esta No Bueno. Yeah, totally. <laughs> not the healthiest choice. It's totally. better than a cigarette, but it's still not. I mean, that you guys yeah. saw in the news all that stuff going on with the people's lungs. I have It's because they're getting chemicals in the pack. So you're not just getting CBD oil. They're in, putting, like, chemicals in with their – plus they're also heating up – I mean, you're heating up a plastic and metal device and the totally. fumes coming through that. So I've never recommended it. Um, keep it like organic, keep it glass. That's cool. Perfect. Thank you for that advice. Tia said, makes sense. Gracias. Tina said, I've noticed my blood pressure is so elevated after I smoke recently and CBD levels me out. I need your info for flower ASAP. Well, that's good. Uh -huh. <laughs> so we'll definitely so, uh, make sure you guys get that. Why don't you yeah. use that as a perfect segue right now? Why don't you tell us where can we find you? Um, if we want to buy product, if we want to take yoga classes, if we want to get a consultation, what do we do? The CBD yoga teacher.com is my website. Instagram is the CBD yoga teacher email, the CBD yoga teacher. Uh, basically just find me on Instagram and then DM me and then we can work everything out. Um, but most everything except the flowers on my website, I have a Shopify website. Okay. So like super legit Shopify website. They won't let me put flower. Right. Okay. Awesome. 
Awesome. Cool. Well, then that is how you guys find Cherie. I am definitely going to be grabbing some of that CBD flower. And if we have a lot of mermaids that are interested, maybe we'll like get together and do like a bulk order all together or something and make it, make it yeah, simple. I, I normally offer CBD yoga girls nights uh, where like you get the girls and refreshments together. And then I come in at no cost and provide free CBD samples, education, I lead a very gentle, speeded mm. yoga class that's available to everyone. And I it's just like that. a nice, I call it a girl's night without the hangover. Totally. I love it. Well, maybe that would go so far. Like zoom that out. Movement yoga flow. Maybe we can like, maybe like we can put something together. Girl. Yeah, that would be fun. I love it. Well, that if you guys are watching this live or the replay and you are wanting to be a part of that party, message us something like virtual or in person or which parts excite you most give us some feedback because the intention with these is to create collaborations and create space for just like even more connection so that's exactly what we want to do she's all hemp night i'm in i love it awesome and then uh, just a couple things if i could share Please. so Mondays, uh, normally at noon, but today at one, um, I'm starting Lightworker Lounge Live. So that is everything. Like if you've ever wondered what's the difference between like an empath, a light worker, a star seed, uh, that's stuff like I've been holding in a long time and I'm finally having the courage to talk about. That's so awesome. <laughs> um, and then Wednesdays uh, on IG Lives, I do the meditation and yoga. It's free for everyone. It's all about what we talked a little, about a little earlier transforming your own pain into your personal power through yoga, meditation, sound. I do a lot of sound bowls, sound activation. Um, and then Fridays at noon, so Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I'm on live. And then Fridays, it's the boutique live. So Ooh. all the CBD healing crystal. Girl, um, yes. Literally, like, I got some cool, really cool, unique crystals I show on the lives. I love Meditation that. cards. Uh, sage palo santo selenite like all the fun all the stuff things. okay cool so we can find you live mondays wednesdays and fridays yes that's amazing yes. Oh. well thank you so much for coming on and being vulnerable and sharing your story with us i, like hug you. I know right oh. virtual hugs <laughs> Um, I think that everybody really loved this so far. If you are watching the replay, let us know. This is going to be up for 24 hours on my Instagram live page, and then it will shoot over into the Mermaid Movement archive. So if you go over to my website, mermaidmovement.com, you will oh. find the archives over there, and that's where you will watch all the replays. And next week, we have two amazing guests. We have Nicole Giordano. She is a doTERRA wellness advocate and just amazing woman. She has so much to share with us. She's also doing some emotion coding. So cool stuff. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, I know. I'm excited about that. And then our <laughs> second guest next week is Christine Fonseca. And she is a amazing psychologist and author. So we have some amazing mm -hmm. stuff coming for you guys next week. Thank you so much, Cherie. Thank Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys all soon.